Hello, my name is Claire. I'm from Crumbs Food, which is a family food blog. Maggie at Red Ted Art really kindly asked if we would make a video for her channel. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of spooky soups. And these are soup ideas for Halloween, which your kids will love. And you'll love too, because they'll be eating vegetables. Uh, the first one I'm going to make is a jack-o'-lantern. So come over here and have a look. This is a great dish for a red coloured soup. I've got tomato soup here, ready and waiting. And then what I've got here is some pumpernickel, and I'm gonna make some pumpernickel croutons. But first of all, I need to cut them into some triangles. And these will be the eyes and nose of my snaggle-toothed jack-o'-lantern. So it's so simple, this uh, idea. There's one eye. There's the other eye. And you don't need any crafting ability at all to do this, which is lucky because I don't have any. And then I'm just gonna make some teeth. And then you just need to pop these in the oven uh, 180 degrees for 10 minutes just so they harden up. So here we go, we've got the croutons. Uh, so all I need to do is I just put them into my red soup. In here, and then as every jack-o'-lantern always has a little bit of green at the top. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's a punk jack-o'-lantern, and I don't know a kid that won't tuck into that with gusto. And then there's the idea number two. Super spooky soup number two. Super spooky, super simple. Tomato soup, creme fraiche. Use Greek yogurt if you have it. I've given it a stir to loosen it up and then I'm just taking a spoonful of it and I'm going to make a cross shape with it. Here we go. Now I am not a very crafty person as you can probably tell from my technique but this soup shouldn't need any real technique. There we go. Now you might think this looks like a blob. I would agree. <laughs> so my secret weapon is a cocktail stick and I'm just gonna use it to make the um, creme fraiche kind of spook down a bit. But the real lifesaver <laughs> in this is putting a face on the soup. What I've got here are some chia seeds, but you can use whatever you have got. Uh, mustard seeds are good. And I'm just going to put one on as an eye. Ooh. And then another one, hopefully in roughly the right place. Two. And then, because I want it to be really scary, I've got a clove for the screaming mouth. There, if that doesn't terrify your children, I don't know what will. So there you have it, two spooky soups. I really hope you like them. Leave comments below, come over and see us on uh, YouTube at Crumbs Food. And thanks a lot, Maggie, for having us. Bye.